Hey everyone, so I've got another synthesis challenge for you here. We've got a six-membered ring uh, substrate, and then we've got this five-membered ring with the ketone uh, as our product. And we want to know what are we going to do, what kind of reaction conditions are we going to employ to get from reactants to product. So uh, I'm going to show you a way to do this uh, actually in two steps. Um, it's not too tricky, basic, uh, basic uh, or orgo one uh, reactions. So it's not too tough. I think a lot of you are going to get it. But uh, go ahead and take a few minutes and see if you can get this one. Okay, so obviously there's there's two things we need to do here. We've got a six-membered ring, we need to turn it into a five-membered ring. And then also we need to add this oxygen functionality. So um, it, it, ho hopefully we all know ozonolysis because to me I look at this and this screams out ozonolysis because we do need to open up that six-membered ring, right? There's no way to just magically remove a carbon, right? So we are gonna need to open up that ring. So uh, let's do ozonolysis and uh, that's gonna be ozonolysis and let's use uh, reductive workup. So that's gonna be uh, CH32S. And so let's show this like this. So we've got uh, this carbon and then one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Boom, there is the other carbonyl. So there's that, there's HCH3. So we just popped open that ring. We've got this uh, seven carbon uh, linear molecule now. Uh, and we wanted that reductive workup because we, uh, we don't want that carboxylic acid there. We want the aldehyde. So now we've got a linear molecule. We're going to want to close that up. We're going to want to reform the cyclic molecule, uh, re, you know, reform a ring, but we need a five-membered ring. So uh, what should we do? We've got a lot of carbonyl. We've got two carbonyls here. So to me, that shouts out enolate chemistry. And, uh, and actually, we can use just a standard, um, standard aldol condensation here. So let's use some base. Uh, some hydroxide. And uh, so where are we going to deprotonate? Let's deprotonate that at this ketone. And we've got two alpha carbons. So we've got a few different uh, alpha protons we can use. I'm going to go ahead and get this one here uh, just to show you what we're doing. Let's get that one. Boom. Boom. So let's make our enolate. I'll just leave the negative charge there because uh, that will make it easier to show the mechanism from there. And so to be clear, uh, <clears throat> so we, we could have gotten a proton from either carbon, right? It's, it's not that the hydroxide is exclusively going to deprotonate at this location. It certainly can deprotonate at, at the methyl as well. But what we're trying to do is we're trying to get a five-membered ring, right? And so if we're going to deprotonate here, the, the, the two enolates will form and they will they will be in equilibrium with one another but the but the thing is that the five membered ring is going to form much more quickly right so we can get either enolate but uh, it's much more thermodynamically favorable to form a five membered ring so anytime the the uh, the uh, an enolate with the anion here encounters this carbonyl over there, the ring is just going to snap shut, right? We know that intramolecular reactions are favored kinetically uh, by a wide margin, right? Because they don't have to find something else in solution and, and, and collide. They, uh, they're ready to go just right in their vicinity, right? The, 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 re their, the two sites are tethered to one another. So we're certainly going to get an intramolecular reaction. And we're going to go with the five-membered ring because that's favorable. So, but just to be clear, there will be uh, an equilibrium between those two uh, enolates, right? We could have a negative charge over there. So let's have that attack. And uh, we're going to get the aldol addition product first. Right, we'll just show that there. But then, of course, there is more hydroxide, so we will be able to deprotonate there again 
right? We know that first we get the aldol addition product, then we get the aldol condensation product, especially if, especially if we cook it up a little bit, and we're going to go all the way to our product. So uh, pretty simple stuff. We just did an ozonolysis with reductive workup to pop open that ring right there, right? We know that ozone uh, ozonolysis can cleave pi bonds. So we got our linear molecule there, and then we did an intramolecular aldol condensation to form the five-membered ring. Um, so pretty standard stuff, and that is the, uh, I think, the simplest pathway uh, to go from this to this. Thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe to my channel for more tutorials. Support me on Patreon so I can keep making content. And as always, feel free to email me, ProfessorDaveExplains at gmail.com.